Hey guys, it's Tech right here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to multi-stream with OBS Studio. That way you can multi-stream to YouTube, Twitch, Kick, TikTok, whatever platform you want to, you'll be able to do it here today for absolute free without having to use Restream. And that way you can save yourself some money. You know what I'm saying? If you guys like saving money, let me know by smashing the like button. But not only will you be able to multi-stream, I will show you how to add a multi-chat, a multi-alert feed, and pretty much everything you need for multi-streaming going into 2026. This is the ultimate multi-streaming guide. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you need to have set up is of course OBS Studio. Now I do have a video of setting up OBS Studio going into 2026. If you have not set up OBS Studio already, I recommend you check out that video. Then you come back here, check out this. But what we're trying to do with OBS Studio is simple. We're gonna stream with OBS normally to actually Twitch, and we're gonna use a multi-stream plugin to stream to YouTube, Kick, TikTok, whatever platform we want to. So let's actually show you guys on how to set that up. First thing you need to do though, is make sure your OBS Studio is update. So we can go to the top left here, go to help, and we're gonna just click check for updates. And of course, if you have no updates you need to update to, you're good to go. If you do see an update, then I do recommend doing it. Now, the next thing you're gonna need to do is download the multi-stream plugin, which I will have a link to it down below. And once you're on this page here, you'll see the following, you'll see the 0.73.2 for OBS Studio 32, which is the latest model. And we're gonna scroll down here until we see the following for assets. And since we're on Windows, what we wanna do is click the Windows Installer XE file. And if you are on Mac, you wanna do the Mac OS Universal package. And then if you're on Linux, you wanna do the Linux one. So for us, we're gonna download the actual Windows Installer. So we're gonna click on this, put it into our download folder. And once it's in our download folder, what we wanna do is open up File Explorer, to go to Downloads, and you'll see this multi-stream plugin. We're gonna open this on up. And what we're gonna do is just run this and install this onto our device. Now what we wanna do with OBS Studio is we wanna close it and we're gonna reopen up OBS Studio with the plugin. So now what you're gonna do here is you're gonna to top left, you'll see this little dock icon, you're gonna open it like so. You'll still see this new thing called multi-output and you're gonna click on that. Now you can drag this wherever you want, but the first thing I would recommend you do is make sure to go to docs, click lock docs and unlock it because sometimes it just bugs out. So you can place this wherever you want. I'm gonna set this to a side for the time being right here and we can adjust this like so. So keep in mind, we're currently setting our OBS studio to actually stream to actually Twitch, which is nice. And of course we have normal stream settings. So what you can do with this actual plugin, if you wanna add a new platform to multi-stream to, what we wanna do is click add a new target. We're gonna name, name this whatever we want. So let's just name this YouTube for the time being. And now what we wanna do is go to our YouTube and grab our URL and stream key. So once you're on the YouTube homepage, what you wanna do is click on create, go to go live. And once the page opens up like this, what you want to do is copy your stream key from right here. You want to take that stream key and paste it on into the stream key area. And then we want to go back, grab the actual stream URL, and we want to paste this in like so. So now we're able to stream to YouTube and Twitch, which is really nice. Now you can actually sync at the start and stop with the normal OBS. So when you go live, it will start it with it and it'll end with it, which you can click these two checkboxes to do so. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Now for the encoder, when you actually go live, it's actually going to pull from your normal OBS studio. Now, I personally don't recommend this for two reasons, just because of the fact that if it pulls from it, you can't really customize it that well. And also sometimes it bugs out with this actual setting. So what I recommend you do is switch the encoder from reuse to actually the NVIDIA NVENC H.264 text encoder. Uh, not text, it's like text or something like that. It's, I'm trying to say text and I can't say it right, but you get the general gist. If you're using an NVIDIA GPU, you wanna use this. If you are using an AMD GPU, what you wanna do is use the AMD hardware H.264 encodec. So for me personally, I'm gonna use the NVIDIA one, so we're gonna select this. And this will allow you to customize every single setting about the multi-stream plugin for the next platform you wanna go live to. So I can customize this for YouTube. So let's say, for example, I'm streaming into Twitch with no more bitrate settings for like 1080p, 6,000. But with YouTube, the minimum is actually not 6,000. It's up to 12,000. So let's just say I want to go live to YouTube with 12,000 bitrate. I can set that like so. And this is what I personally would recommend you do. Set it to 12,000, constant bitrate, good quality, and high, and a lot of stuff. And with this, you can now go live to YouTube. And so this is pretty cool. Recommending though, 6,000 for most people out there. 12,000 is if you have a lot more bitrate because this will demand a little bit more resources on your PC hardware for your video encoder and also on your internet bandwidth. So if you don't have the best PC out there, you might want to adjust this to however you want to use it. Now, not only can you customize the actual video encoder on this, you can mess with the actual audio settings too. So you can you make it reuse your audio track. So I have it set to one for Twitch, or you can make it use something else. So you just click the AAC one and then you can customize it, use a different track. So this would be really good if you're someone who's playing the stream to Twitch with copyrighted music, you wanna use like track one, and then you can make track two for like YouTube for multi-streaming and have like everything besides your copyrighted audio. So you can get really creative with this. Me personally, I just recommend reusing the actual encodec. 
and you'll be perfectly good to go there. Now, once your settings are all set up for the platform you wanna go live to, so me personally, I'm happy with the YouTube settings here, I can just click okay, and that way we now can go live to YouTube. So when we start streaming to Twitch, we can click this as well, to go live to YouTube. And now, if we wanna add another platform like Kick, for example here, all we have to do is add a new target, name it kick and then we just go to kick and grab a stream key in url now once you're on the kick homepage, what you want to do to get your stream key in url is go to the top right to your profile icon you want to click on it you want to go to the creator dashboard and once your dashboard loads up what you want to go do is top left go to the stream key in url and then you want to actually click on the show icon for your actual stream key in url and now if you do have two-step authentication going on you will need to actually check this real quick and set it up and now once you have actually your stream key in url what you want to do is can select all of it Control c and what we're going to do is paste in our url we're also going to paste in our stream key and then of course if you do want to customize encoder settings you can absolutely do so i would personally recommend just doing it anyways and just making you set up actually your actual kick platform to 6000 bit rate as well and then with that we can now go live to twitch youtube and kick all the exact same time now if we want to actually add twitch what we're gonna do same thing we're just gonna type up twitch what we're gonna need to do is grab our url and stream key now you do need to grab the url from a really specific spot so i'm gonna have a link down below to go grab your actual url for twitch now once you're on this page here what you want to do is find the actual server location for the most closest server to you so me personally i know i'm near ashburn for actually the server so i want to copy this url here and then we want to just paste this where our url is now to get your twitch stream key what you're going to do is go to the twitch platform click on your profile icon click the creator dashboard and then from creator dashboard you want to go to the left side here to settings then stream and then we want to copy our stream key and then for our stream key same rule apply we want to paste in our stream key and then of course you can customize it however you want so i want to do the exact same thing as earlier make it in bank and then of course set the bit rate to 6000 which is recommended for twitch now an important thing to keep in mind you can use this plugin to go live to tiktok as well however you do need to have access to a tiktok url and stream key so if you do already have one then of course you'll be able to do the exact same method you'll be able to add a new target call it tiktok and then you would just paste in your url and stream key and set it to however you want but what I'm going to recommend you use is a different plugin instead of this one for actually streaming to TikTok. Now that we're able to multi-stream, we need to be able to see all of our chats from each and every platform. So let me show you how to set up that next. So what you're going to need to do is go to this page I've linked down below. And once you're on this page here, you got the stream suite for actually ATEM. And we're going to download this and put it onto our computer. This will give us access to a multi-chat and multi-alert feed. Once this is actually downloaded, put down our download folder, go to our file explorer. And then what we're gonna do is open this on up and install it onto our device. And this process is pretty quick, so we should be able to just easily install it, then do the same thing we did earlier, close our OBS, and then we're gonna reopen it. Now, once you open up this the first time, it will crash, just open up again, you'll be perfectly good. Now, there's gonna be a lot going on when you open this plugin. So what I'm gonna recommend you do is the following. You're gonna exit out a few things. First of all, you're gonna exit out the portal, you're gonna access the actual, uh, what is this? stream info you don't need to mess with this then you can x out the actual output and then i also would recommend xing out actually the vertical plug too and then we're gonna do the exact same thing over here for these live scenes we're gonna remove this so once we have those docs unchecked what we're gonna do is customize this now to however we want so what i'm gonna do here is go to the docs here and we only want the following we want our multi output again we're gonna just drag this to wherever we want so i'm gonna put on the left side this time that way we can go live to each of the platforms we set up earlier and then the next thing we have access to here on the left side i mean not left right side i get my left and right mixed up all the time is you have access to your twitch youtube and kick so what you're going to need to do is sign into each and every one of these platforms now you can see once we added youtube here we can see a little icon for how many viewers we have and we also can see our most recent activity from actually youtube as well for people who subscribe which is awesome so we're just going to click on the gear icon here and then you can actually customize this to show different things like viewer count i would disable this so you don't like tweak out you know what i'm saying some people just don't like seeing it and i don't blame them if you want to see it you can check it you can also mess with the colors badges time stamps for stuff and you can really come out and customize this however you want now if you want to add more connections to just not only having youtube you can click the connections icon and then log into the other platforms so you can log into twitch next and now once you authorize your twitch what will happen is now you can see your twitch and youtube alerts which is amazing then you can also sign in the kick as well and then you can see all of your alerts and activities from each and every platform so with that we can now see everything from all three platforms as you want to unfortunately this plugin does not have access to uh tiktok alerts for the timing they said they're gonna add it later but 
I'm not too sure if that's actually gonna be the case. So overall, this setup is pretty nice. Now this setup can get even better. What we're gonna do next here is actually add alert feed so you can see all the alerts from every single platform without having multiple widgets on your device. But of course, what I do recommend you do is make sure your scenes and sources are available to actually see on the actual plugin here because uh, for some reason it wasn't automatically showed. Now I'm gonna have a link down below to actually a site where you can use widgets for every single platform. So you can see here it's Bot Tricks Live. I'm gonna sign in my Twitch though for the time being with it. And now once you sign into it, you all have access to a profile area. Now with this profile area, it's important to keep in mind what you're gonna need to do to get access to every single widget to work is sign into every single platform. So you can see I'm now primarily signed into actually my Twitch right here. So if I wanna actually go customize my Twitch alerts since I'm already signed in, I just go over to the alert feed area and then I can customize this however I want. Now, what I like about this is that you can actually make the text color like purple for actually the site. And that way you can actually modify the actual widgets and stuff. And then on top of it too, we go back to a profile area and we want to customize now the widgets for YouTube. What we do is click configure profile. We click on this, it's gonna log into our YouTube, of course. Then we're gonna to go to alerts from earlier here. And you can see now the color is red for our text for YouTube. So you can get really fancy with each and every single platform with this alert feed, which is pretty nice. It doesn't get super technical, but you can set it to be pretty cool to say the very least. And then you can do the exact same for some of the other platforms like actually TikTok and also kick so you can just do same thing configure and then you can mess with it however you like which is nice now let's say for example here we do want to have access to all of our alert feeds all we have to do is copy this url here what this url will do it will copy it and then give us access to a little thing we can place in our obs studio so we're gonna go here we're gonna right click add a source add a browser source and we can call this alerts or we can call it multi alerts if you really feel fancy with it and what i recommend you do is make this 600 by 600 we're gonna take that link from earlier and then we're just gonna paste it in here like so. So that way we got our multi alert feed, we got our multi chat, we got our multi actual alerts. So now if I wanna test this, I wanna say, oh, maybe I gotta follow from actually like kick. So you can see that's our kick follow, which is awesome. But now if we go back to our profile area and we went test it for the other platforms, we just sign into actually Twitch. We actually maybe get a follow from actually Twitch as well. And you can actually see now, it's actually the Twitch follow icon as well. So it doesn't take up unnecessary space and you have multiple widgets for different things. It keeps it super clean and super minimal and it just works. And I love this. This is particularly the setup I use. Now, if you wanna take this a step further, I have one more widget, you can, not widget, one more plugin you can use to make this the ultimate multi-streaming plugin. I should say plugin slash setup. Now I will have a link down below to the A10 vertical plugin. And this is gonna plugin I'm gonna recommend you use for TikTok. So that way you have a canvas for actually streaming to 1920 by 1080 for actually YouTube, Twitch, and Kick. And then you have a vertical canvas for streaming to actually TikTok as well. So we're gonna just download this. Gonna to go to our download folder, of course. Then we're gonna go file explore again, like always. And then of course, we're gonna click on the installation file for the canvas here for vertical. And then we're just gonna run this. And this is a really quick installation. And then we're gonna do the same thing we've been doing earlier. Close the OBS Studio. Then we're gonna reopen OBS Studio. Now, once you open up OBS Studio, you'll have access to a few new things like a little vertical canvas. You'll have access to a vertical scene and vertical sources. So what I'm gonna recommend you do is the following, is go in your docs, make sure to check and uncheck it so that way you can actually move it around however you want. And we're gonna take our vertical canvas and place it right here. And what you can do with this is customize it however you want for actually streaming to TikTok. So what I'm gonna do for the time being is I'm actually gonna drag the sources for actually the normal OBS plugin and place it in here. It makes it a little bit cleaner. And then we're gonna do the exact same for the vertical. So this is vertical scenes. We're gonna place it over here and place in the sources inside of it as well. And then there's a little transition thing. You can modify this, but I usually just remove this. Now, if you wanna actually start using this to stream to actually TikTok, what you wanna do is go to the gear icon here, and then you wanna to go to actually streaming, and then you wanna just paste in the platform you wanna name it. So I'm gonna name this TikTok for the time being, and you would just paste your stream key and URL in here if you do have access to one for TikTok. And then you can modify your actual stream setting. And then if you wanna actually add any sources inside this plugin to make it custom, what you do is go to your vertical sources right here. And then we're gonna right click, add something. We'll add a video capture device for actually our camera. So I got a little my face camera here. I can just drag this corner here and move it however I want. So we can have this on in here. So our face cam, right click on the sources again, add, and we'll just add a display capture or you can add your capture card for any gameplay you wanna do. And then you can adjust this however you want. So this would be a TikTok setup you could use to actually stream with it, which is pretty nice. Now the unfortunate thing, as I said earlier, you do not have access to like alert feed for TikTok. 
or actually a way to monitor the chat, but this will work for pretty much every single platform for multi-streaming. I almost forgot my cold trolls were enabled for a second there, so I gotta make sure to check that. Now, the next thing you wanna do is add one more feature for actually multi-streaming. That way you can mess with your description area for all of your platforms and titles in one place. So what we're gonna do is go back to the top area for our docs, and then we're gonna click that stream info we removed from earlier. So once we add this, we can actually go over here, drag it in places somewhere we want. So I usually put in the chat area and that way you can switch between the actual uh, chat for multi-chat to actually stream info. And this will allow you to set up everything you want to. So let's say for example here, I am streaming today to actually some Apex Legends ranked. So I wanna do Apex ranked. I can modify my title to that. And then I can select the category on Twitch. So let's say I'm streaming to Apex Legends, of course. I'm gonna, of course, add Apex. Same thing for YouTube. I can do the same here. And then you also do the same for Kick. Now, an important thing to keep in mind, uh, you do need to actually update the YouTube one while you're live to YouTube at the exact same time. But once you go live to every single platform, you can literally just modify everything in one place for your title here and your tags, and then you just click save all and it'll do so, which is awesome. And now if we want to start multi-streaming with this actual setup, all we have to do is go live to Twitch with our normal OBS, and then we can use the multi-stream plugin to actually start streaming to YouTube and then the multi-stream plugin for actually kick. And that way we can go live to all three of these platforms. So you can see now we're live on YouTube. We're live on actually Twitch with this. For some reason, it doesn't load the dashboard immediately. And then we're also live on kick as well, which is amazing. And then we can make sure the multi-chat works by clicking in T in the chats. And you can see with that, we actually have access to every single chat from YouTube, Twitch, and Kick working perfectly fine. Plus also seeing which platforms we have viewers on, which is pretty nice as well. And we have the multi-alert feed. So this is the perfect stream setup for multi-streaming. If you guys did find this video helpful, then make sure to smash the like button, get subscribed so I miss some future tech content. And I'll see you for one, Tech Rant out.